Carlson, the demo, hasn't been updated for over a year, and it's getting pretty repetitive, so I decided to mod the game. So if you don't know what Carlson is, uh, it's just a game Danny is working on, currently the 17th most wishlisted game on Steam right now. So wishlist now, gamers! Oh? Who's Danny? He's this epic gamer who makes game and has a long neck. You probably know who he is if you're watching this video. Now ever since Danny released his demo of Carlson, it's been the same for over a year now. Danny has countless videos on his Carlson devlogs and it made me more and more impatient for the actual game. It just looks too good! I recently learned how to ha modify a game and I decided I could modify Carlson for fun. First off, I had to learn his code. So basically, I cannot access the game through editor, so I gotta modify the game through code. It took me hours to learn most of the things Danny has written, and I was kinda ready to add what I wanted. The first thing I wanted to add was aiming. In the demo version of Carlson, you cannot aim. So what I did was I made an if statement saying, if right mouse button is held down and is not dead and is holding a gun, then zoom in over time. It's pretty simple, just set the FOV of the camera. So here is how it looks like in the game. I like it a lot. Ooh, what's this? Explosive? Crank that up, baby! Ah! Ooh, what's this? Cool down? Who needs it? Crank it down, baby! Alright, let's see. Ooh, ooh. ooh, what's this? Movement speed? Walk speed? Run speed? Jump force? Crank it up! Let's try this out. Ooh! Can't touch me! Enough messing around. I wanted to make the enemies giant and THICK! I coded in a simple line, so when the enemies are loaded in, they'll turn big. Just look at them. Ooh. Now since they are large, it gave me that Attack of Titans feel. So I thought the grappling gun should be able to grab on the enemy, which it currently can't. So I just coded in some get the enemy layer and put it together with the what is ground layer. And boom. Now it can help me identify the enemy as well. And I could grapple onto them. Get them. Target spotted. Oh no. Get the nuke out. So there isn't much movement in the maps, and I found the perfect thing to change. Yep, I'm going to make the lava rise. So right now the lava script is looking kinda empty, which is good cause I can code freely. So I added a boolean and a number to increase the scale so I can scale the lava. Boring, shut up nerd! And here we have the floor is lava. Uh oh, lava is rising fast. Uh, uh, bro I'm trapped, get me out! So my final idea is freaking funny to me. You know how the whole point of the game is to get milk? So the goal of the game is to reach the milk because the bad guys took it from you, so now you have to get it back. Based on a true story. I'll never forgive you Johnny, you fucking sack of shit. Well, I thought, how about the milk comes to you instead? So, first I made sure if the bullet hits the milk, it will start following you. Pretty simple stuff, right? Well... Yeah, it took me hours to make this thing. So here it is. It's too dang funny, I can't. Here are some bloopers. Funny thing, I didn't know that you can drag objects by holding them until I went back and watched the Carlson devlogs just for clips. I don't remember seeing them at all, I swear. It was very very fun making this mod and playing around with it. I don't think I could share any code or release the mod because of copyright and stuff and Danny wouldn't like it, maybe. But if you wish to see more modding videos or me making games, then subscribe and hit the bell. And... <laughs>